Uh, Ian, let's start with a final reflection on the uh, run at South End. Three goals at a clean sheet. Patrick for Ruben Rodriguez. It felt like the perfect away day. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think we we were just quite clinical. We we took our chances. Um, we didn't create absolutely loads, but I thought we were quite stable in the game. Of course, there was the penalty where we needed Vite to step up, and he did. Other than that, I, I didn't feel really threatened too much. So, wasn't like a kind of stellar, outstanding performance. Um, but I thought there was a lot of good elements of it, and it had quite a stable game. So. From that point of view, I thought we were, yeah, it was a, a, a good away day. Yeah, how encouraging is it knowing that you're not, knowing if you're not quite at your best, you can still put three goals past the team away from home and keep a clean sheet as well? Yeah, I mean, we, we always search for, for good performances, but of course we, will, we want to get a good result as well. Um, we know that lots of, um, if we keep doing the right things, the, the results are going to come. And I think we did a lot of good things, but like I say, we, we weren't at our, our absolute best. But to be able to score three goals, keep a clean sheet, I think is a, a, a way at a tough place as well. Roots Hall, it's not easy to go there and get results. So, um, yeah, really pleased with that. But that's uh, that's history now and, it, and there's another game to come and uh, we've got to do it all again. Yeah, uh, you've got another full week there for uh, the Torquay game. Uh, also, um, going back to last week, how much did having mm. that full week benefit you from the South End game and what's another one from the Torquay game? Yeah, I think it just gives us time on the training pitch, which we, we didn't have for a period. I mean, we enjoy the games, uh, but it's also quite good when they slow down and you get a little bit of time on, on the pitch and work on different things and um, revisit some sessions that you do earlier in the year to kind of tidy up on some bits. So I think it's uh, great to get weeks between the games now. Yeah, and a, a quick word on uh, Cal Roberts. He, he set the record straight on, on social media over, over the weekend. Could he be in contention for Saturday's trip to Torquay? He now he's had some significant recovery time after his, uh, after his illness and after playing for England team. Yeah, I think uh, him, Cairo, Joel, um, Ed, who, who missed out on the squad, all in contention to, to come back in, all, all are, are training well. Um, so yeah, it's it's really competitive at the moment. You see, we've won three of the last four. Um, the squad are doing great. Uh, there's lots of competition, and that's exactly how we want it. We we need good players on the bench. We need good players that maybe don't even make the bench, and then them to have the bit between the teeth and say, "I'm going to train hard. I'm going to force my way back in." Um, and I think that's that's the same for every player, not only Cal. Um, and and that's the situation that we want. I think. When we went into the back end of the season last year in the playoffs, we were a little bit threadbare um, in the squad. And, and now it's nice to have a, a healthy squad, albeit one or two injuries, but a lot of competition in there. And I think it's a great position to be in. Yeah, uh, going back to the, to the uh, top port game, when of course you have to put a team out there, even, even though you've tried to get the game called off for, for illness and, and injuries as well. It feels like a completely different, different time now that you've got players back from injury, back from illness, bit and room to go and challenging for shirts. Yeah, I think that was the frustration that we have a we have a big squad and we've got lots of quality and, and of course we, we became kind of the week from Solly all through to to um to Stockport we were th <laughs> yeah, we were quite threadbare, it was tough. Um and it did feel, you know, you, you felt it around, everybody was disappointed after that game and I think just getting everybody healthy and back on the pitch and creating that competition and now you have difficult decisions you know uh, difficult decision with the goalkeeper last week difficult decision uh, on the bench and, and who should start and who should come back in uh, and everybody's hungry and they want to be a part of it and I think that's um, that's a healthy situation Yeah you mentioned the goalkeeper I think uh, Slav Yara uh, did his chances uh, good, uh, good with the, uh, the penalty save as well how, how crucial has he been in the, in the recent October results? Yeah, but, but also Sam played really, really well against uh, Boreham and Chesterfield, stepped in and uh, you know that was a really tough decision uh, between the two. I thought Viet was excellent in the two games prior to that, uh, Stockport and, and Dagenham. And, and both push each other extremely well, both very, very professional. And, and of course, we have Tiernan as well away on loan doing well. So I think that department is uh, is also healthy. Yeah. Yeah, you mentioned a couple of injuries as well. Who's not likely to be uh, to feature on uh, on Saturday? Just uh, Carl Cameron and Richard Brindley still working back from injury. Uh, Brindley's obviously had his op, and he's um, 
he's slowly beginning his uh, he has a cast on at the, and that at the minute so he's just doing some some fitness work can't do too much uh, with the football and Carl Cameron was out on the pitch today building it up and we'll we'll scan him again in a couple of weeks and check where he's at yeah yeah, uh, so that's uh, encouraging news uh, on both of them. On to Torquay. Uh, tough test away uh, against a side who conceded many at home. It won't be key to get a positive result there. I mean, I think every time we play Torquay, it's a competitive game. Uh, they're always set up, well organised, um, difficult to beat. They, they'll certainly be on the front foot and they'll try and put us under pressure, I think. Um, and they've got some very good players in there. So, a always a difficult place to go and play. Um, and, and I think they have, uh, yeah, I mean, they play well. Uh, certainly going into the final third, players like Danny Wright, Connor Lemony Evans are excellent, um, strong on set pieces. So a lot of different threats from Torquay. And, and I'm sure, you know, they they still have that kind of small glimmer of the playoffs, although they're a little bit far away. I think they need to string some results together if they want any chance. And I think they, 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 they without doubt, will not give up on that yet. So they'll be hungry. Um, and, and we're certainly going to have to be de going down there ready. Yeah, and of course, you mentioned the playoffs after last season's uh, play playoff semi-finals. A couple of players possibly might have scored to settle with Torquay after, after last season. Yeah, maybe. It's a long time ago. Um, we've obviously played them once since, uh, Drew in the home game early in the season. But um, I, I only think about the game as it is to to, to try and get three points. Tried to solidify our place in the playoffs this season. Um, I think the recent run of form has, has really helped us with that. But now we've got uh, we've got to be strong on the run in to, to finish as well as we can do and give ourselves a good opportunity in there. So um, I don't worry too much about uh, last year. I only think about this year now. Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, you mentioned uh, how clinical you were at South End. Is that the message to the players for Saturday and beyond if they want to continue in the uh, trying to maintain their playoff place? That they need to be more clinical and take the chapters when they come, even when they're not the best. Yeah, um, I think it, it's important to try to... I think we've we, generally when we've played really, really well, uh, we've tended to win. It's kind of those moments where we've just been under, under where we think our top level is, that maybe we've dropped points. Um, I think we just need to make sure that we can uh, find a way in those sort of moments, in those sort of games where we have periods where we're not at our absolute best, where we still can finish chances or create or or uh, prevent the, uh, the opposition. So, yeah, of course, we want to be clinical. I'd like us to perform well as well. I'd like us to go down there and, and show what we're all about. Um, but we know it's going to be tough um, and we'll certainly have to, to be resilient in the game.